Welcome to the Wind Up Project. I'm Marla Mogul and I was just awarded the Guinness World Record for having the most wind up toys in a private collection. I have 1,258 toys in my collection and I'd like to share some of those with you today. Please subscribe to my channel where you can see more toys every week. Let's start over here. I have two shelves of nothing but Disney toys. I'll show you just a few. Right here, we've got the dancers, the prince and princesses. This happens to be one of my favorites. It's a tin toy of Pluto. This one I got at a toy store. <laughs> I love that. I got this one at a toy store, not in Disneyland or Disney World. Most of these do come from the parks. Here's another one of my favorites. I have a lot of Toy Story. This is Slinky Dog. He doesn't move in and out. However, he does walk. So cute. So one of the benefits of COVID, you know, I don't have to tell you, we've all had a tough year, but one of the benefits is that I started this channel sharing the love and the joy and the laughter that I get from my wind-up toys with the rest of the world. It was my way of bringing something positive. Even if you just smile or laugh just from watching one of those toys, then I've done my job. The other benefit is that I was able to spend the time actually getting the world record from Guinness. This is something I've wanted to do since 2012, and it's a huge endeavor. During COVID, I had the time to do it, and it took me almost a year, and I achieved it, and I'm very proud of that. So there are some silver linings of COVID, and I hope that I'm making you smile and laugh a little bit, even though it's hard to find a lot of things right now that make us happy. Moving along, I also love these three toys because it's just basic Mickey, Pluto, and Donald. I just think they're so cute. We've got Shrek, some more Toy Story. These are adorable. These are all keychains. I got these at Disney World. What happens is at the theme parks where I visit a lot, is I used to go there and you know, they've got many gift shops obviously, and they would have bins of toys like this, like Minnie in a car, Mickey in a train, Minnie in the parade. They all have a similar look to them. And of course I would buy every single one. The last few years, they haven't had wind-up toys. So it's cyclical. I haven't gone this year, obviously, but when I go back, I'm gonna look for more. It's been a little disappointing because that was one of the exciting parts for me to go to the Disney parks, was to get some wind-up toys. I'm hopeful that they'll be back. Up here are some dolls, which are adorable. These are hearts and lips for Valentine's Day. Here I have a lot of ducks and Easter toys, which you'll see more up above where I have my Easter toys, my Halloween toys, Hanukkah, Christmas. I like to keep all the holidays together. I do like keeping them very organized. Over here, these are fun. These are food. I happen to buy this set of cookies and biscuits. I actually bought them on eBay, which is unusual for me. Because, first of all, when I started collecting, there was the Oreo cookie. When I started collecting, there wasn't eBay. And part of the excitement and the fun of collecting is the hunt. And just going into stores and never expecting to see a wind-up toy, but always finding one. Another secret, when I go into a store, I never go up to the salesperson and say, do you have any wind-up toys? I don't want them to show me their wind-up toys. I want to find them myself. And it's not always toy stores. It's just incredible all the different places you'll find them. As a matter of fact, this one my stepson got for me in Whitefish, Montana at a sushi restaurant. Go figure. If you don't know your sushi, that is a salmon roe. And I also have an entire set of sushi, which is kind of fun. And I also have a slice of pizza, some fruits and vegetables. Over here, don't have a lot of these, but they're cute. It reminds me of those pinwheels that we had as a kid. Very cute. Uh, of course, I have Garfield. He's a water toy. You can see that he's sitting in an inner tube and his tail is the wind-up mechanism. I love the emojis. These are just adorable. 
And it looks like they're all the same, but the reason I have so many, because I don't have duplicates of any toys. Well, I have a million duplicates. However, the dupes are in a separate box and I like to give those to kids when they come over. The difference is these have feet and these don't. Here's some of my fuzzies and I've categorized these fuzzies into Easter. Even though they could be in a category of just chicks and bunnies, these are pooping. We love, they poop jelly beans. Everybody loves the poopers. These two are adorable. They're all dressed up in their Sunday best, ready to go to their Easter dinner. More bunnies. This one is, again, one of my personal favorites. It's a peep. And if you remember peeps, well, they're still going strong. And this one is a blue bunny. You know, now they have them in all different flavors, all different animals. You know what I saw the other day? Root beer float flavored peeps. Eh, not sure about that one. More bunnies, some um, uh, pooping emojis that are dressed up as bunnies. Okay, trolls, one of my childhood favorites. I've got several trolls in my collection. This one says, some bunny loves you. Let's watch at this troll. Kind of goes. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed seeing just part of my collection. Please subscribe to my channel and you could see the rest of my collection. I'm putting these out every week. And remember, keep smiling.